To import a BMRB shift list, simply go to Project, Import, and then NMR star file. Or you can type the keyboard shortcut BI for BMRB import. Alternatively, you can just go to your file browser, choose your NMR star file, and then drag it into your project. You should then get a pop-up which will show you, amongst other things, one line called Assigned Chemical Shift List, which has a little tick. This means that we are able to import an assigned chemical shift list. Click on Import, and the import will go ahead. You can now see under Chemical Shift Lists, the chemical shift list now contains the imported BMRB chemical shift list. And a new NMR chain has been created containing all the NMR atoms that are in this chemical shift list. Sometimes you may find that your BMRB import doesn't work because some BMRB files are still in the 3.1 rather than the 3.2 NMR star format. In this case, you won't get an assigned chemical shift list with little tick. A small manual adjustment can get over this problem. Simply open your BMRB file as a text file and then search for the string assigned chemical shift lists which will take you to the right section of the file. Now this save line needs to become save assigned chem shift list one and two lines down SF frame code again needs to become assigned chem shift list one. Save your file and now when you drag it in you should get an assigned chemical shift list line with a tick by it and you can do the import. For larger files you may find that this takes a minute for all the animal atoms and chemical shifts to load. If you want to create a HSQC peak list directly from your chemical shifts in the BMRB file, you can do this during import. Select your file, drag it in, and select simulate peak list. Simply type NH and N, H in both these fields and click on import. Once the import is done, you will see that a new dummy spectrum has been created, simply called NH. This now has the new peak list with the chemical shifts from the BMRB in it. You can add this to your HSQC simply by dragging it onto the HSQC. You'll now be asked if you want to copy the peak list from the NH spectrum, peak list 1, to your HSQC spectrum. Click OK and the new peaks will be placed. And you can see here that we've got a second peak list for our HSQC. If you want to make it different from the previous peak list, you can do so by double clicking on it and changing the colours, for instance. In future, we'll be creating a separate way to create peak lists from chemical shift lists.